Okay then. I'm a touch tired, but I think we can get through this blog. Got a cup of coffee. We'll make it. Because today we're going to focus on taking all the bits and pieces of your net titty bear and putting them together. So, like we did last time, you're going to need your polyfill. You're going to need your bits and pieces that were knit up every little bit. The body, the arms, the legs, the ears, and your double pointed needle, and your embroidery needle. So, no further ado, I'm going to put you in my pocket now. Okay, so on the last blog, we focused on embroidering the face of the teddy bear. I'm going to use a cream colored bear. This is also from Lion Brand. This is called Natural. Um, this is just as good as the um, oak tweed that we've been using in the pattern. However, I felt because of the, um, the variegation and just the bleeding of the camera that you probably wouldn't be able to see a lot of the stitching. So I decided to use a cream colored one instead. But as you recall, last time we had knit up the bear's face. This is just friggin adorable, I tell you. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We've got you in my pocket. Finished ear piece. Let's just thread that through. This is that long strand I ask you to keep. See? Okay, now here's what I actually like to do. I like to take and make one stitch just through right there. For some reason, reason this just kind of helps keep everybody nice and tight. We've got the head of our bear. Just kind of play around. Usually I like the corner here to kind of be even with the eye. Looks about right. Now check this out. We're going to go behind the ear to the actual head itself. Try and get as close as possible so that you can see. I'm going to go underneath that stitch. Can you see? And go all the way through. And on the front side of the ear, Sew it right through there. Again, behind on the head of the bear. Go through two stitches right there. Stick that through there. Behind again. See? stitch through the ear once more and then one final stitch whoops through the head and then insert the needle through there and just bring it all the way out to the opposite side and draw it tight. Nice. And then we're just going to weave in the loose ends like you normally would on any knitted garment. I like to do it on the purl side. Actually go weaving in one way twice. Then I go to the stitch beside it, and back to the stitch on the left. Finish that up. We'll cut that off in a moment. And then just do the same. Okay, so now this is the body of the bear. And much like in the last blog, we talked about stuffing it and making sure that we don't overstuff it and then drawing it tight, just like the did, you did on, with the head. Give it maybe three stitches just to make sure that the opening stays closed for good. Okay, 
we've still got this long 18 inch strand like we talked about in the pattern now I'm gonna take the head I like to start at the back don't ask me why it's just a personal preference okay so we've got the head of the bear there got our string from the bottom there let's see if I can move this camera a little better because this is gonna suck if you can't see anything there I think that's better okay so go up to the the head just about right here and I do two stitches in from right to left and same on the bottom right to left Go to the next one next stitch from right to left and just keep going until you get all the way around Use your judgment to see how close to the jawline you want to make the bear's head. Okay, we're almost at the back. Almost back to where we started from. So a few more. Once again, we'll give one final stitch into the body and then back around, almost like making a knot, back through this stitch here, the one in front of it, and pull it all the way out. Give it a little tug. Snip this bit. And stick it back in the double pointed needles. We're getting there. 